Well, Memphis police are looking for a hit and run driver involved in a crash with a motorcycle rider. The accident happened on I-55 near the Brooks Road exit before 7 tonight. The motorcycle was laying in the center lane. The driver was taken to the hospital in critical condition. Police say a person driving a red truck was involved but fled the scene. If you know anything, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers. New at 10, a woman accused of killing her boyfriend by running him over outside a South Haven bar is now out on bond. Tonight, she's charged with manslaughter. WRED's Bria Jones joins us live now outside the South Haven Police Department as friends and family, Bria, seek answers to this. Yes, Steph, tonight loved ones are devastated at the loss of Charlie Jorner as they now await justice. A possible case of fatal attraction claims the life of a South Haven man following a lover's quarrel outside a local bar. Thursday, South Haven police say Charlie Joyner was run over by his girlfriend, 47-year-old Tiffany Monette. She's now out on bond, charged with manslaughter and leaving the scene of an accident. It hurts, you know, uh, it's still shocked though because it's, it, even from what I knew of her, it was a little, it wasn't much, but it still, you know, you just never saw it coming. Donnie Mall is a longtime friend of Joyner's. He says Joyner and Monette have been dating for at least a year. He shared this photo of them bringing in the new year. Broke my heart. I couldn't, like, my one of my other, our mutual best friends called me to tell me. I didn't believe it. You know, I thought, I, I thought I misheard him. I, I just immediately, my heart dropped. According to South Haven Police, cameras from Dan McGinnis Pub captured the two arguing. WREG obtained footage from that night. A witness says Monette left the bar and Joyner tried to stop her by standing in front of the pickup truck she was driving. That's when she allegedly started nudging him. Detectives say Monette then sped off. Joyner died from massive head trauma. What, what was going through her mind? You know, like, uh, what, I mean, couples fight. So I can imagine what happened in the bar and maybe they just had an argument and it was time to go home. You didn't see him. You didn't. I mean, if you did, what were you thinking was going to happen? You think he's going to jump out of the way? Now awaiting justice, he says Joyner will be remembered for his big heart, but more than anything, as an amazing father. That's probably the part that made me cry the most and made me sad because I know how much one he missed. He, he loved his son and now his son's kind of deprived of that relationship. Monette is now out on a $650,000 bond. Now, we did try to reach her at several numbers, but have not heard back. She's set to appear in court tomorrow. For now, pretty live in South Haven, Bria Jones, WREG News Channel 3.